In this video, we are back in Devon and we are touring the south part uh, and we're going to start off on the Dartmouth River boat Round Robin, which includes a steam train and a steam engine. So stick around and stay tuned. So we're in Totnes at the moment and we're going to get the steam ferry, a steam boat to Dartmouth and cross over to Kingsweir Station where we pick up the steam train go all the way to Paynton and then there's a bus back to Totnes. I thought it was a steamboat. Oh no, it's a steam train. Steam train, okay. I've been saying it, I thought it was a steamboat, but it uh, doesn't sound like a steamboat to me. No, it's not a steamboat, Auntie Dane. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. so we've got the cheap one, and that's the most expensive one, I imagine. <laughs> okay, so this paddle steamer does not sail from Totnes, which is a big shame. But that'll do though, won't it? First class, yeah? Yeah, excellent. Great, thank you. We've arrived at Dartmouth and now we've got a couple of hours stay here and our next port call is to catch a ferry right across to Kingsweir over there where we will pick up the steam train. We got off the, the boat and uh, went straight to a cafe that we found kind of in the corner of, mm, of the, the thingy and very uh, nice. hidden from everybody else, everywhere else and uh, had some lunch. Uh, but what do you think of that boat ride. It was quite pleasant, I thought. Very, very smooth. Very pleasant. Yeah, very smooth, very pleasant. Uh, picturesque as well. Yeah. Lots of history that he was talking he about. He was brilliant, actually, wasn't he? I mean, it was an hour and a half. Mm. Beautiful summer's day, which always helps, doesn't it? Yes. But very informative. Said all about the places and, you know, the history, didn't he? So yeah. I was very impressed. Very, bit of a comedian as well. Yes, which helped, didn't yeah, it? Because it, it very, kept you interested. He wasn't boring at all, whatever he was Not saying. At all. No, no. You know, sometimes they can just drone on, can't they? Yeah. But uh, now we're going to have a little wander around Dartmouth. So we've only had a couple of hours before hmm. we've got to get on the ferry back across to Kingsweir. Yes. Uh, so it's given us um, some time to wander around. Dartmouth. What yeah. Do you, what do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Stunning, it isn't is it? A, I mean, I like when you it. look at the landscape and all the houses mm. on the hill and yeah. the boats and yachts and things. That's right. I, yeah, it's very pretty here. Mm. I think we need to come back. We haven't had a lot of time here. Well, I think we've covered everywhere, oh, haven't I, we? I don't know. There are a lot of fudge and ice cream places. Yes. Uh, so that tells you something. Mm. Very touristy, I guess. Yes. Uh, yeah, but it's very pretty. Some but old also, buildings as well. For some information, you were saying there's a motorhome. You can park your motorhome at the top of the hill and then get mm. the park and ride down. That's right, which yeah. Which is really good, isn't and it? And stay overnight in your motorhome for £10. So mm. we, we might be doing that. Oh, we, we might be doing that later on, yeah. We haven't decided yet. So we couldn't resist. We've got some. Dartmouth ice cream, does it say? Oh yeah, Dartmouth ice cream. And we've got the same flavour, of you course. You actually get the same as me. <laughs> Rum and raisin. Oh. This is just one scoop, quite a lot for one scoop. Well, I think you wouldn't have got so much if you had it, on a, it in a cone. But it's 3.35. Quite expensive. It's worth it though. Mm. Mm. So what do you think? Are you enjoying that? Very I quite nice. like mine. Yeah. yeah. you got more than me. I have at the moment. Right, we're at the uh, gonna get our steam train now. Are we in the same all in the same place or are we in first class? <laughs> <laughs> so uh there's our train. That rusty, dusty looking thing. What do you think? No, ours is over there. <laughs> Wow, look at that Goliath, it's cool. Needs a run up for some reason, I don't know. The 
coaches actually have their own names. This is Elizabeth, and the one we just passed is uh, Madeline. This one is Dave. It's Dave. <laughs> there you go, Sereni. And it looks like we're in Lily. Right, so we are now on the steam train on our way to Paynton. There's a bloke over there. He's a spitting image of Bob Earnshaw. No joke. <laughs> Do you want to show? <laughs> um, what I found interesting as well is each section is cordoned off with uh, plastic oh, yeah. for your safety like. And if you go up a little bit more, there's Bob Angel. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Bob. <laughs> think of your little ride then on this train? I think somebody got over excited. Yeah I was walking backwards and forwards. Oh, geez. <laughs> did you enjoy that? Yeah it was quite quick. It, wasn't it, it? Was, it did seem quick although we've probably gone quite far. Don't you think? Yeah. And I completely missed the vibe. No it's a bus. It's yeah. like planes, trains and automobiles. We're on a bus now. Are we? Open top bus back to Totnes and the car and uh, then to the car park. Uh, sorry, the campsite. campsite even. Car park, campsite, same thing. Um, a bit cold up here, a bit windy. Yeah, but us Brits, we're, um, you know, hardy people. <laughs> no one's sitting in the lower rung, but hey -o. <laughs> Yeah, we're all up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you, you got, and you got duck every so often. I thought you said it was safe up here. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you enjoyed your day out? <laughs> I think I have. Yeah, it's Yay. been good fun, isn't it? It's been a lovely day, hasn't it? Yeah. I think I'm Weather's really, been great. Yes. Really Company's been great. Tea. Yes. So, uh, just to let you know on that little comment there, uh, we're with our Canada Reunion crew. Yes. Um, You're a bit nutty, aren't they? <laughs> they're, they're, all, they're all They're all oldens. <laughs> As you can see, we are back in Herman. Now this morning, in fact, in the last couple of days, we've been having problems with uh, water. And I've figured out what it is. Right, so we take that off. But you see here that the wire, the gray one has detached and the black one is on its way. I'm gonna try and solder it. I've actually repaired it four times because it's so difficult to get some solder on those little stubby wires. It's the following day, and we wake up to a glorious Scorchio day. We also wake up to the fact that the tap is no longer working again. So, instead of trying to repair it one more time, I have ordered a new tap. Not, not, not a new micro switch, because, because of reasons. Ordered a new tap instead. So, I'm, when that gets delivered, I am going to have to fit it. In the meantime, Today, we're going to walk to Hightor. That in the distance is Hightor, and uh, that's our destination. Um, now, rather than taking a direct route there, we're following this uh, tram line. And this was used back in the olden days, I suppose, to uh, cart piles of granite from around here. And you can actually see over there, there's a uh, piles of granite which has just been left but there they would um, put them in the carts or ten at a time possibly and just let gravity take take hold and take them all the way down to the bottom there you go this bit looks even more like a, a railway track look kind of two systems two lines coming together and down here you can see a hole where the point system would have been put in so it would have just kind of been a, a metal plate or something, a metal guide to uh, control in which direction the carts go because they'll be being pulled up by horses. As I walk along here, you can see the edge of the track either side. These would have been carved, most likely with basic tools. This is granite. It's not, soft, it's not like a soft stone. It's the hardest stone that we know. Well, we're almost there. 
it is looking quite busy up there as well. Lots of people on top. Fantastic views up here. Just beside me is the Hay Tall. Now, if you want to climb Hay Tall, uh, this is the easier option here. And then later on, there's some carved uh, steps. But then over in this direction, there's a big gap where you have to jump over to this side. And then it's easy climb up to the top. We did it in our last video of uh, when we were here. Uh, you can find that video up here. Not far away from Hay Tor is this, well, it looks like an oasis, doesn't it? Very pretty, very dramatic. This is an abandoned quarry. These ponds have quite a lot of wildlife in them. Look at these guys down here. A whole bunch of tadpoles. Look at the leeches. Do you remember those tracks, those granite tracks that we were just walking on all the way up to uh, Hay Tor? Well, that is now seven and a quarter miles away. That's about 11 kilometers. And uh, where I am now is the place where they end, those tracks would have ended. And the granite from those trucks will actually be transported onto barge, onto barges in this canal here. It's all dried up at the moment, but there is some uh, restoration going on to restore this whole area. Right, so here are the tracks, and uh, if you look back here, this is a granite tramway wagon. You can see the granite on top, and the trucks, the tracks are, uh, well, same as what we saw up at the uh, up at Haytalk, very similar shape. Um, and over here, we have Stover Canal, and this is a rebuilt crane, and you can imagine that taking the granite off the trucks and putting it onto the barge, which is just below here. And then once the granite is on the barges, uh, it will go all the way down to Newton Abbott and maybe onto Tamworth. This is now a cycle route, it's called the Templar Way. And I fancy a go on it actually, but we gotta get back to the campsite and I'll show you around there. As you can see, we're back at the campsite and it is called Donnerfield Farm Caravans and Camping. It is in Newton Abbott in South Devon. The entrance looks like that. It's quite impressive, isn't it? That's the, uh, the farmhouse in front, I think. This is a reception and the shop. This large field is the camping area. And uh, you can see that uh, they have bins, water, and electric on each pitch. The caravan site has two areas. That's the Black Rock Corpse. Uh, but we are on the Butter Meadow. Here's Herman, we're on a fully serviced pitch. I think they are all fully serviced in Butter Meadow. And this is the facility block. Right, it's so our last day at this campsite, Dornerfield Farm. Um, we've had a lovely time, haven't we? We have, we've had lovely weather. Brilliant weather. Yeah. But uh, what would you rate it though? Well, I've been thinking about this ads. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so we don't have the ums and the ahs. I thought I'd give it a five. Five. Out of five. Five Hermans, folks. Yeah. I think there are a couple of drawbacks to the campsite, and that is uh, it's no, Wi Fi, well, mobile phone signal is terrible. Yes. And so are the tractors at the moment. <laughs> and the, it's getting nearer. It's getting, it's getting nearer. <laughs> Here it goes. She's on her phone. Yeah. Right. So yes, uh, the mobile phone connection is terrible. It's terrible here. Yeah. And uh, the, it's a narrow road up to, it's not very long though, it's a narrow road up to the campsite. But you've got to leave by 11 because the new peep arrivals yes. are coming by right, 12. That's yeah. right, But there are loads of caravans here, so obviously they managed to get in. So it's not that difficult for a caravan, if you see what I mean. Mm. And also you've got a lovely pub just up the road, which we went yeah, to. Yeah, lovely pub. Yeah, so um, walks, good location. Yeah, lots so to do. thank you very much for watching. And if you want to follow our uh, journey along South Devon, uh, our next video, because at the moment we don't know where we're going. So check out our next video to find out wh where we are going. We, we, ne we never know where we're no, going. No, no. But um, until next time, bye bye. <laughs>